Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to stack a couple of boxes on top of each other. Now for that, let's first of all create a box and move it up by half its size so it's sitting nicely on the floor. Next, let's copy it to the points of a line. We will orient it horizontally give it a length of 10 and maybe 8 points so we can still see the gaps. Now to add a bit of variation, we will give uh, random values, especially the scale vector should be randomized based on the point number along with a seed value and just we can do the same for the color vector and we would also like to give those boxes some random orientation using the sample circle edge uniform function which is also accepting a in our case random value and in order to make these boxes rotate on the ground we would swizzle the vectors so v at n becomes v at n dot x z y. The reason the orientation was only happening on the x y plane is that the sample circle edge uniform function only returns a vector 2 which we cast it to a vector 3 called v at n and then we just changed the order of the vectors. Now what we would like to work with after we've assigned a up vector for completeness is the height which we can extract from v at scale dot y so that would be the height component only and this we would like to accumulate using an attribute promote node. We will choose the height and promote it to the curve using the primitive as new class and at the moment it is creating just the average of all height values because the promotion method is still set to average. Let's change it to array of all where you now see all the height values and in order to accumulate them you can just press F2 for renaming, accumulate and then we would first of all read in the array from our primitive. It's still called height and at primnum is the current primitive number our points are sitting on. And now we will, um, just to get an understanding, first of all assign it to the first index. H0 would be here h1 would be this value and so on so we just walk through these values. Now when we start from zero we just only want to go a few steps into array based on the current point number. So let's say for example point 3 would then accumulate 0, 1, 2 and 3 based on zero up to the point number and we will build a sum of that. So now you can see those numbers add up and therefore we get all these boxes on the correct height. Thank you for watching.